Okay, this is Daniel. I'm going to be going over how to extract footage from a DVD and um, being able and I'll show you quickly also how to export it out to a format that'll be friendly with PowerPoint because that's what I, I noticed a lot of people need to do. So first off, go ahead and put your DVD into the DVD drive and you can see on the icon here on my desktop that I've already done that. So once the DVD is on your desktop, let's go ahead and launch MPEG Stream Clip. So just click on the icon and let's grab our disk icon and drag it over to the dice looking thing with an MPEG Stream Clip. MPEG Stream Clip is a free program. It works best on a Mac, but you can also get it for a PC. The uh, ability to extract just the portion that you want from the DVD is really nice on this um, program, which another program uh, like uh, Handbrake doesn't allow you to do. So this one, you're able to move the cursor along, find exactly the portion of video that you want, hit I on the keyboard for your input. That's where we're going to start extracting the footage. And I'm going to hit O on the keyboard. And you can see right now there's a little dark section, and that's the only portion that's going to be extracted from the DVD. And if you ever want to see exactly what's playing, you can just hit play using the play button. Having stuff like this on your resume. Or you can hit and it, it space bar will also start and stop the footage. But anyways, I've got the portion of footage that I want. And now I want to just uh, grab a file from this that I can bring into either PowerPoint or Final Cut or whatever program you want. Um, the important thing is knowing what program you're going to be putting it into. For example, if you're going to be putting it into a PowerPoint, you will need to export to other formats. And there's only a few machines on the Dynamic Media Lab um, image that will allow you to export out to Windows Media. Well, you can export out to Windows Media, but not more than 30 seconds or half the source um, file that you have. But in my case, I'm on one of the machines that I'm allowed for a full export of Windows Media. You can always ask me, and I'll probably have these labeled pretty soon, in terms of which machines has uh, the Windows Media export function. It's called Flip for Mac, and it's the bot version that we have for it. Anyways, um, from here, I just need to choose Windows Media, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. At that point, it's going to ask me where I want to store the files. I'm going to go to desktop and call this um, canoe one and save. It's going to be encoding in the top right hand corner. And once it's done, you will have a WMV file, which is the most friendly format for PowerPoint. And it's pretty much, it's going to be one of your only ones that's going to work if you want to play this on a PC, not a Mac, but on a PC computer through PowerPoint. Um, all right, well, that's using MPEG Stream Clip. I want to show you one other way of doing it using Handbrake, just because not always will MPEG Stream Clip work with a DVD. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Handbrake. And it's asking me right now, where do you want to grab the footage from? On the um, disk icon, you can see my DVD, and I'm just going to tell it to open up that disk. If you had a DVD with a number of different chapters, they would be listed here. Mine only had one, sorry, bad example, but you can choose what chapters you want to extract. Now, MPEG Stream Clip allowed you to bring in just the portion of footage that you want at any given point. Uh, Handbrake, on the other hand, you have to bring in a full chapter at the minimum. So I'm just going to go ahead and select chapter one, but if you knew, for example, it was only chapter four on a DVD that you wanted, you would just choose chapter four through four, but I don't have that option on this one. Okay, so from here, the default file settings are, are fine, and it's telling me that it's going to be going to the desktop, my MPEG-4 file. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. There's no way of making it a WMV file from here, which is, again, if you're going to PowerPoint, what you would want. Um, file formats are really, uh, you really need to know what you're encoding to, um, depending on what you want to use with the footage. I would be doing a totally different file if I was going to be going to, say, for example, to Final Cut or some other video editing program. But... Um, 
Anyways, from here, we're going to let Handbrake just go ahead and process this footage, and then we will open it back up in MPEG Stream Clip just to show you that this would be the way to make it work with, say, a PowerPoint or something along those lines. All right, so it's done. I'm going to click out of Handbrake, and I do have the full video you can see on the desktop, this MPEG-4. Uh, I don't want to open it with Amadeus. I'm going to right-click, open with um, QuickTime Player, just so I can see the footage. And you can see it did the whole clip, not just a little portion. And that's all that I could do on that using Handbrake. So I'm going to bring it to MPEG Stream Clip, that file that I just got from Handbrake, and just grab, again, that portion of video, say, from right here. So I'm going to hit I for input move it down the line a little bit, O for output, and it'll just extract that little darkened section. So this is only going to be a 10-second um, clip, roughly. In point is 44 seconds, and out point is at 54 seconds. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go to File, Export to Other Formats again, Windows Media, and again, this is just the most friendly for PowerPoint and for PCs uh, in, as a general rule. So I'm just going to call this Concrete Canoe number two, hit save, and I have another file being processed to my desktop. That's basically the um, way to do this. Again, best to go through MPEG Stream Clip first, but if not, you can always bring it into Handbrake and it'll probably be able to extract the DVD that you need and uh, be able to get it to a program like PowerPoint. All right, that concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions, um, email me at dfergus at unr.edu.